Hello and welcome to our video number 9. In this video, we will learn about bullets, numbers, and multi-level lists. Here are the notes for this video, and these notes will be provided to you in our class website. I will now close this, Alt F4 to close this, and down here on my taskbar, I will click on the word icon to open a new word document and escape. And first things first, we need to save this file in our system of folders. So F12 to save this. And I will scroll down to where we have saved all our other class files. And there is my USB. And here's our class folder. I'll scroll down to our video files folder into our word folder. Right here you can see all the files that we have been working on. And you should have all these files in your system of folders too. So to save this new document, I will click on any of these uh, files right there. Right here, because I would like to have a consistent name of finished file, I will bring my cursor right there before the word resume. And I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, and left arrow to select that word. And then I will type multi-level lists. And I'll press enter to save that. And this time round, I'm making sure that I turn on my non-printing characters. So control shift asterisk. And I want to make sure that until I have finished working on this file, I will have my non-printing characters showing. I will zoom out using the control key and the wheel on my mouse. And on the ribbon, on the home tab, right here on the paragraph group, here is the bullet button, this is the numbering button, and right here is the multi-level list button. We'll start by creating a bullet list, and I will select this bullet list, and then I will click here to decrease indent and move my paragraph closer to the margin. And then right here, I will type team building activities. And when I press enter, this places the next bullet of this current level at the beginning of the next line. I will press tab to demote this current list item to the next lower level. And I can see it is indented below the higher list item. I will now type indoor activities. And again, when I press enter, I can see the bullet is placed at the beginning of the next line. So I will tab to demote that. And I can see I have two same types of bullets. So I can change this by coming up here to my bullets. And I can choose a different kind of bullet. I have already used that. So I will choose another one. And I can see now I have different kinds of bullets here for my list. And right here, I will type different indoor activities. And then I'll press enter. And to promote my level, I will press shift tab. Now I can see I have promoted that level. And I will type outdoor activities and press enter. And I can see uh, that places the current level at the beginning of the next line. So I will tab that and I will demote to a lower level. And then I will type the list of outdoor activities. Right here, you see we have created our bullet list. So to end the bullet list and start a new paragraph that is not a part of the bullet list, I will press enter four times. And you can see now I am able to start a new paragraph that is not part of this uh, bullet list. Next, we will create a numbered list. And here I will type the list of Windows applications that we are learning in this class. With my list typed here, I will carefully use my white pointing arrow to select my list. And then I'll come up here to the numbering button. I will click on that arrow and I will choose that number format. And then I will click on the decrease indent to move our paragraphs closer to the margin. And I will unselect that. I'll click anywhere to unselect that. And right here we see we have our numbered list. So even though we have created a numbered list as one level, we still can add more numbered format to our list. And I'll bring my cursor right after the word Windows Explorer. And I'll press Enter. And once I do that, just like the bullet list, this places the next number for this current level on the next line. And I see my number list have updated too. So I will press Tab to demote to a lower level. And now I see my number format has changed. And I see here my list have updated too. So right here, I will type file management. And once I press enter, I see this places the next number for this current level in the next line. And so I will tab to demote to a lower level. 
and I see now I have a different number format. And right here, I will type a list of what we have learned in Windows Explorer. And enter, and I'm adding to the same list. And now I have my list typed here. And if I would like to leave a space without my numbering between the list, I can press Shift Enter, and that will replace a space here and does not add any numbering to my list. But if I backspace that and I press enter, that will add a numbered list for this current level. So to promote this level to a higher level, I can press down my shift key and press tab and I'm still holding down the shift key. And if again I press tab, that will promote to a higher level. And I see I have added a new number two right there. So to delete that and move word paragraph up, I will press delete and that moves word paragraph up. So next I will add a new paragraph right after word and I can see that adds a new list to the current list and in the same level. So if I tab, that demotes that and I see here I still have the same convention of numbers. So here I will type levels of formatting. And I'll press enter and I see again that places that number for this current level at the beginning of the next line. So I will press tab to demote this current list item to the next lower level. And right here I will type the three types of levels of formatting. And now you can see right here we have created a numbered list and a bulleted list. And both of these lists here are nicely an organized multi-level list. And on the bulleted list here, we have the higher level as the team building activities. The second level we have as indoor and outdoor activities. And also for the third level, we have the types of each activities listed here. I will bring my cursor right there after the scavenger hunt paragraph. And I will shift enter to add a space between that. And as I scroll down right here on our numbered list, you can see we have the higher level listing what applications we will learn in this class and the two lower levels listing what we have learned in these two office applications. Now, if you don't like this numbering here at 1, A and I, we can change that to 1, I and A. And to do that, you can click on any of the items on the numbered list and come up here to your paragraph group and click on the multi-level list and then select define new multi-level list. And that opens for us the dialog box right here for define new multi-level list. So if I click on the first level right there, I would like to leave that as one. And then for the second level right there, I would like to change that to a small i. So I will click there and I will change that style to a small i. And I can see that changes right there. And if I would like to change the indentation, I can do that. And you can see right here, as I increase the indentation, this right here will change. So as I increase that, you can see the indentation is changing. So I will put back to 0 0.75. And then I will click here on the third level. And I will change that to small a. And I can see it is changing right here. I will click on the fourth level. And I will leave that as one. But I will add a parenthesis right there. And I can see the change right there. And then I will select level 5. And I will change that to a small i. And again, I will add a parenthesis to that. And I can see the changes right there. So and then I'll change level 6. I'm changing that to a small a. And I'm adding a parenthesis to that. And again, I see that change right there. So level 7. I'm leaving that as 1. And then for level 8. I will change that to a small i and then level 9 I will change the style to a small a and you can see right here now we have changed our style and I will click OK and right here you see our numbering style has changed too. Now that we have created our multi-level list we can use this in different places of this document. And I will come down here to the access paragraph and I will press enter to add a new paragraph. And I see once I do that, that adds the next numbering for this current level. Now, if I press enter again, 
I can add another paragraph that is not a numbered list. So if I backspace that, so enter one time, we will add next numbering for this current level. And if you enter twice, that will add another paragraph that is not a numbered list. So right here, I will type types of different business certificates offered at Highline. And I will press enter. And once I do that, I would like to add numbering to this paragraph. So I will right click and I will click on the numbering. And I see that adds number one to my list. So if I would like to add a continuation to this numbering that I have up here, I can use that auto correction options and click on that and continue my numbering. I see my number list is a continuation of the list up here. So if that's not what I want, I can also right click in case I do not see this uh, icon right here. I can right click on the number and once I do that, I can see the restart at one. I can see continue numbering and also set numbering value. So for us here, we will select restart at one. And now we can start our numbering at our first level, which is one. And here we will type certificates and enter. And I will tab to demote to the next level. And right here, I will type certificates completed within 45 to 55 credits. And I will enter to add the next number for this current level. And once I enter, that places the next number for this current level. But that's not what I want. So I would like to add another level. So I will tab and that demotes to the next uh, level, which will be our level three. So I will type here the types of certificates. And I have my list there. And if I enter, I will place this to the next number for this current level. So to promote that to a higher level, I'll press down the shift key and press tab. And then I would like to promote that to another level, the first level. So I will again, I will hold down the shift key and press tab. And now I have number two right there. And right here, I will type short certificates. And enter and tab to demote to a lower level. And these are certificates completed within 15 to 20 credits. So I will enter and tab to demote to another level. And I will list the certificates that are completed within 15 to 20 credits right here. And now I have completed creating my multi-level list. So I will enter and that will create another list for this same level. So I will enter again and enter again and enter to add another paragraph that is not a part of this uh, multi-level list. So that's the way you create your multi-level list. Another thing that you can do is you can create this multi-level list as a style and use it in all your Word documents on your computer. And I'll bring my cursor anywhere in this multi-level list. And I'll come up here to my home tab and on the styles group, and I will click that arrow for more. And then I will click create a style. And right here, I will name my multi-level list. And then I will click on the modify button right there. Right here, you see it has opened for us a dialog box. And now uh, I can click here on the style type. Right here, I see the style type is a paragraph and character. I can click on that arrow and I will change that to list. And here you can see the multi-level list style that we just created. And if you would like to modify or format this style, you can do that. And the way to do that, you can click on this format button right there and then click on numbering. And that will open for you the modify multi-level list, the one that we used to create our multi-level list. So I will close that. Cancel that to close. And another thing that I will do, because I would like to use this in all my Word documents on this computer, I will make sure that I check that circle, new documents based on this template, and then I will click OK. Now I will Control S to save this. 
and I will use the keyboard shortcut control N to open a new Word document as I would like to see if my style is in this document. So I'll come up here to my multi-level list and I will click on that arrow and I can see here the list in the current documents. So right here, this is the multi-level list that we just created and we can see it's applying in all Word documents. So I will close this, Alt F4 to close this. And in this video, we have learned how to create a multi-level list and modify it and also save that as a style that we can use in different Word documents on this computer. So thank you and I will see you in our next video.